When you edit a video, you place clips on a timeline, add B-roll, video effects, different camera angles, and other dynamics to engage the viewer. Well, live streaming is basically the same thing. I've used Ecamm to string together my countdown, intro, show segments to include bumpers and close out with an outro. And in some cases, not one of those elements were live. Your people at Restream have come up with their latest feature. It's called Playlists. It takes that concept to the next level. You can upload your clips to a playlist and schedule that playlist as a live show. While that playlist is live, you can add graphics, overlays, QR codes, and live comments to the screen for live audience engagement. Let's take that new feature for a test drive in this video. So here we are on my computer screen. We're looking at Ecamm. I want to demonstrate what this looks like in Ecamm first in terms of the playlist. And so um, you're going to see me off to the side here. I'm going to actually go into preview mode so we can see what our playlist looks like here. And you will see me over here. So this is a playlist I have in my scenes list down here at the bottom. I've done this many times for many different clients where they'll give me all the assets and I'll just stream it as if it's a live show. Um, this is this this works so well for clients who have so many different reasons and purposes for being uh, being able to go live with their content, but not necessarily have it as a live show. Um, so many different reasons why that might work. And I'll give you some more later, but I am, I'm, I'm always a proponent of live where possible, but these functions and features enable us to simulate something that otherwise would not be possible. Um, especially if you have a hybrid type of scenario. So one speaker is, has sent their video in, but you have other speakers who are live and you can engage around that content. As long as you have somebody who's there who can engage, this still works. So, Back on the screen here now, we're looking at uh, the flyer, which is the first thing in the playlist. And then we have the countdown, right? So we're just going to zoom in on that. You see it says countdown. Because we're in preview mode, it doesn't automatically play. But I'm just going to kind of drag the... Uh, just going to drag through. You can see the different things that we have in that countdown. It's, it's a 10 minute countdown. It's going to allow for people to kind of come to the stream and different things like that. What does that countdown do when it's done? However, it's going to go to the next scene. Boom, next scene. All of these videos are going to do the same thing. So here we now have a promo. It's kind of like a like an advertisement for this particular company. They're advertising their Giving Tuesday program. This pro this uh, feature uh, of their live for this particular playlist is a Thanksgiving program, which plays Thanksgiving Day. So you have here the gratitude project. This is fifty nine minutes, and so this is the feature. And so this is the actual product that will play. This is what people came for. This is what's on the flyer. This is what you advertised. But before you get into it, you might want to play a promo. You want, want to, might want to do some things. And then, of course, after this is done, it's going to go to the next scene. And the next scene is the same promo one more time. Just as you get ready to send people off on their way, you play that promo one more time and then you end the broadcast. Now you traditionally could just go ahead and do this as a video. You would just edit the video together. You would put that video up there and people would just watch it. But when you have the ability to do this as a playlist, you can plug and play different pieces. I can go in. Um, if you're still looking at the screen here, you, I can go in um, to these promos. Maybe this promo is no longer valid. I can put a different promo in and then stream that. What one major difference between what Ecamm does and what we're about to see in Restream is that this still requires intervention from me. I still have to be live, not be live, but I have to still physically press the buttons and go through the process of going live and then ending the broadcast because I, I can't just leave the, the program like that. Now, I have. I don't recommend this <laughs> for my own stuff, not for paid projects, but for my own stuff, I have gone live with Ecamm with a set of, of a full playlist of videos that I know are going to go one to the other, especially if I've done all the testing. I have done that and then just uh, once I go live, I can walk away. <laughs> I'm just monitoring it maybe on my phone or something just to make sure everything is okay. Make sure it goes from one video to the next to the next uh, because pretty much everything else is automated after I've actually gone live. Now, sometimes I do want to put in comments and other things like that. More on that in a second. So this is what it looks like in Ecamm, but let's take a look at what it looks like in Restream. So here we're looking at Restream 
And Restream, if, you, if you've never used it before, maybe some of you are familiar, um, a lot of us who use Ecamm have a, a Restream account because it's easier to just stream to one destination as to multiple from your local computer. So this is Restream. Restream really does a great job of taking your feed and sending it to your all your destinations. I, I use Restream pretty much every time I'm using Ecamm for a client project, I'm using Restream as well. So I don't like streaming directly from Ecamm to multiple destinations, unless I'm doing it for myself. Now for my own shows, I do use Ecamm directly to multiple destinations. So this is the dashboard when you log into Restream. You have uh, if the home icon here, you have events, video storage, your team, you can add members to your team. And then you can start with Studio, you can connect OBS or Zoom, um, and you can schedule event here as well. You have some other options, but this is the one we want to hang our hat on stream a playlist. Okay. This is stream a playlist. I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up a, a stage, if you will. Right. Um, and, and it's going to ask me to upload some videos that I already have placed inside the video library in Restream. So I'm not, I don't have to necessarily do that step, but for you, you may have to actually upload some videos. So I'll click here on where it says add video. This see, this comes up and I'm going to click on video itself. And the videos that I want to add to this particular project are the same ones that we just saw in Ecamm. This is the countdown timer. This is the promo. This is the actual feature project. And this is the f final promo. So one, two, three, four, add to playlist. And you're going to see them populate here in the order. Now, maybe they're not in the order. I can grab on the side here and move it up in the order or move it back in the order. I can, so there is some, uh, some granularity in terms of, you know, you can actually set your order of your, your, your playlist um, however you want that to be done. You can actually go through and click preview the to, to preview the playlist so that you can actually watch through what all of it looks like. And it does try to give you a, 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 a final time of what your entire playlist is going to uh, work out to be. There is a <clears throat> really useful, really cool tutorial that they have included here um, on the, in the, in the playlists uh, dashboard, which is pretty good. Um, and then of course you want to schedule the stream. So now we go here to schedule stream. You would upload your flyer in this case. Um, you would go through and uh, uh, once you have your flyer uploaded, uh, which one is that? So once you have your flyer uploaded, you simply click on that when hopefully you have the right size, uh, 1920 by 1080, or you can do uh, 1280 by 720. They have the size recommendation there for you. Another thing that you're going to want to make sure you do is click on this where it says create event on event page for social platforms. Absolutely critical. Absolutely critical. You want to make sure you check that because that's going to allow for there to be an announcement post on the different destinations that you get to choose. And you choose the destinations on the next screen. So I'm just going to put something temporarily here. Test, test. Um, this is not the date and time, but I'm just going to click next. And I now have the opportunity to select the destinations that I want. I can edit those destinations and then you just simply click create event. And once you have that done, your event essentially would be uh, scheduled. Um, while the event is live, you still have access to come into the event, click on the chat. You can actually apply some QR codes. Literally, you can just click and show them on screen just like that. Um, let's, I'm just going to go forward in this so you can kind of see something on screen. Here you have this donate QR code. Boom. You see it right here in the top. You have that you can you can you can you can basically, you know, put these QR codes up while the live stream is going for your live audience to uh, engage with. You can actually put other things up like welcome to my stream, uh, send Q&A's. You can pre type these or type these while live if you want to be involved or if you don't want to be involved, you schedule that stream and you let it go. But I do think it's really cool that you have access to live chat and all these other functionality, even though it is is going to be a fully pre-recorded stream with a playlist. So you have access to all of this. Um, one of the things I think is really good, I want you to see what it looks like while live. So here we are on the 
screen, we can see the, this is live, been live. You can see some of the uh, assets have already completed playing. I'm showing those on the left of the screen. And then the final video is playing now. You can see its progress bar here. Uh, you can see all the comments on this side. You can see that icon that says show. That means I can show those videos. Um, you have several other features, QR code, captions, other things that you can bring on screen uh, to engage with your live audience. Um, and of course, here you can actually see that there's uh, just over 500 people watching. You can see the destinations uh, that this particular playlist stream is streaming to and that actually will conclude that project conclude that video definitely a game-changing feature that we have been given from restream as you saw in the example i'm already using playlists for client projects how will you use this or has this sparked some inspiration let us know in the comments. Imagine you're traveling out of the country like my wife and I were this past summer, but still need to do your live show. What we did was stream the pre-recorded video, but with playlists, we could have shown comments and other live engagement that simply wasn't possible before, uh, like QR codes. <laughs> Restream allows you to turn your links into QR codes. Did you know that? Right inside their studio. I have a video detailing how you can do that and I want you to check that out right here. Right on the screen right here, there's a video that you can go to to check out how to turn your links into QR codes inside Restream Studio. Head over there and check that video out and I'll see you there. Later fam. <laughs>